Hey guys, welcome back to In the Woods with the Capones. Well, today I thought I'd go over some of the uh, items that I use when I'm cutting my logs into manageable pieces for splitting. I personally like cutting them at 16 inches. Some people make them smaller, some people make them bigger. Uh, 18 I find is too big for my wood burning stove, so 16 is a great size. So in the last uh, couple of years I've been cutting them in 16 inches. So as you can see in front of me, I have a few items that I like to use. Um, from where I started to where I am right now, this is just my personal opinion. Uh, I'm not knocking anybody out there that likes to use one thing over another. But uh, stick around and we'll get started. Thanks. Okay, so as you can see in front of me, um, when I first started cutting firewood, I used to use a, well, I guess you a, a measuring stick, a meter stick, uh, 16 inches. I put it down, I take a piece of chalk, chalk it, and then move along and keep going. Uh, me personally, I found it to be a pain. I wasn't too crazy about it. So then uh, from there, I decided the measuring tape. And take a measuring tape, stick it into the uh, end of the log, and away I go. Now it's all marked 16 inch intervals. Again, I'm not crazy about using this. Uh, I would put it down, take my marker, and crayon, chalk, whatever you want to call it, and mark it off at 16 inches. You can never go wrong with the big crayon, uh, chalk pencil. <laughs> what I didn't like about this is this, even though it has the teeth that it could stick into the wood and I can move it along the log, I found it more of a nuisance than anything. Wasn't too crazy about it. so. That didn't last long. The novelty wore off pretty quick on that. So, uh, the marker, the chalk, the pencil, and the chalk didn't work for me. Didn't like it. Uh, as I progressed and I went along, then I, I saw people using the axe. The axe was uh, the handy dandy tool, I guess. You know what I mean? You lay it down on your log, mark it. Give it a quick chop and move on. So uh, I wasn't too crazy about it. I would put it down, put it hit. Well, I would have two axes actually. Put one down, hit it, move it, hit it. So for this demonstration, this is a smaller one. This is only a 14 inch. Uh, my 16 inch and 18 and move it up. Or the toe. I just pulled up the small one just to kind of show you. So, with that being said, uh, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest, but I didn't like it. Moving along, um, I was surfing the internet and looking at different tools and stuff like that, and I came across a magnetic 16 inch marker, which you would take. And this, well, you know what? This is my 26 inch 362. It's too big. Let me grab something that's more smaller and manageable. Alright, this is a lot better. <laughs> so, what it did was it would stick onto the bar and you would do it around and you would. So I said, hey, that's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. But for the price that they were selling it, I think it was worth it. So one day on my downtime, I decided, you know, I got some scrap pieces. Let me see what I come up with. And this is what I did. So I decided I saw that tool on the internet. And I said, you know what? I could probably build something for next to nothing. And I'd probably do the same job. So that's what I did. So I took a piece of half inch conduit from when I was doing uh, some electrical work left over. I had 
a magnet. So what I did was I took the magnet and I put a threaded piece of threaded rod through it and I filled it with silicone. So the silicone would hold it on one side, hold it on the other. I put a cutoff wheel that I used when I was grinding and I don't scrap it. I said, you know, that would work perfect. So I glued the magnet to the end of the PVC and bolted it all together and I let it dry and took it to the woods. Now I wouldn't use it on this one because this 12 inch slash 10 inch really bar will not work properly because it gets in the way. But I could start at the end of the log, cut, make a mark, make a mark. And I'll tell you right now, it stayed on. It didn't get in the way. It was actually really good. Um, I would love to take it outside and show you how I used it, but unfortunately it's minus 32 Celsius outside. It's really cold. Uh, so I'm not in the mood to go outside and do any cutting or anything like that. But this thing worked amazing for marking. I thought it was great. Great tool. Um, and at the end of the day, it cost me nothing. Some scrap pieces. Maybe you went to the dollar store and you bought a magnet. Took a look for some scrap and glued it all together. I, I tell you, by the end of the day, if this thing cost you maybe a buck, two, three bucks to make, it worth its weight in gold. Um, the other thing is I need to paint it. You put it down and you, you kind of it's you lose it quickly. It just blends, so I have to do that. But I saved my favorite, and I'll tell you right now, probably <laughs> great invention whoever came up with this. It's a dingo marker. This tool here, I have it. I purchased a 16 inch wheel. You can buy 18, you can buy, it's, it's marked. You can tell uh, 14 inch, 16 inch, 18 inch, 24, 20 to 24 inch wheels depending on how long you want to make your logs, your pieces of wood. You take a can of marking paint, give it a good shake, you drop it in, and you know what, I'll just kind of give you an idea. And you drop it in, and you start it at the end of your log. There's a, a stopper on it. So, and then you just run it across. And when it gets to the point of the marker, it lets out a small spray, leaving a dot on the log. This here, by far, is my favorite. I don't regret buying it. I would recommend it highly. I love it. The, I've never had the problem where I ran out of marker paint in the woods that I couldn't use it. I, if you've seen some of my previous videos of me cutting up wood, you will see that I've used this thing multiple, multiple times, and I love it. Uh, you can't go wrong. Great tool. So, with that all being said, everything on this table, great. From kids chalk, measuring tape, axe, marker, magnetic marker, and the dingo marker. I recommend them all, but at the end of the day, the dingo marker is still my favorite by far, and the magnetic 16 inch marker, which I'll tell you right now, can't go wrong. So, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe. So, from in the woods with the Capones, be good, be safe, and thanks again. Catch you next time, hopefully on a warmer day outside. Thank you.